What's up guys, so I wanted to give you a quick look at the new iOS 4.3 beta firmware that Apple pushed out to developers just a couple of days ago. This will be the next big update to the iOS firmware and will be available for the iPad, iPhone, and iPod Touch. So some of the new features here, um, for the iPad, as you guys know, the little button on the side here um, originally was a orientation lock, um, but in 4.2 they switched it to a mute lock. In 4.3, now you have the option to set it as whatever you would like it as, lock rotation or mute. Um, right now, I have it set to lock rotation, and uh, if you go into the multitasking bar, whatever you don't have it set, uh, for me, would be mute. That button now shows up in the multitasking bar. Another thing I wanted to let you guys know about is uh, Notes now has another uh, font, Noteworthy. Um, so we're getting a little creative with Notes application. Um, kind of cool if you guys like changing your fonts up. Another thing I want to talk about, um, good thing for developers now, um, not so good for regular users, is uh, the iPad now supports full screen iAd banner apps. So uh, those of you who know what those are, they're the big annoying full screen ads that pop up in the middle of applications. Um, they're a little annoying, but they have them on the iPhone and iPod Touch, so I can see why they would add them to the iPad. Another good thing for developers is uh, AirPlay. You now have the option to set up AirPlay in your third-party application. So for those of you um, developers who wanted an option to maybe stream um, your music or video or movie application to the Apple TV, you now have that option. Probably one of the biggest new features, at least for the iPad, is four- and five-finger gestures. Um, basically what these are, um, for four fingers, use four fingers to swipe in between applications here. Um, it is essentially multitasking without using the multitasking bar. Um, switches between applications, very easy to use, um, pretty cool. And uh, for five finger gestures here, um, all you have to do, five fingers, sort of squeeze them together, pinch on the screen, and it takes you back to um, the home screen. So really, really cool addition um, to the iPad firmware in this update. Um, a lot of people have speculated that this eliminates the need for a home button, um, that maybe the iPad 2 and iPhone 5, if they do come out, uh, won't have a home button. So we'll definitely have to see about that. One last thing I just want to talk about is uh, for the iPhone, they uh, announced it on Verizon, as you guys know, and with this new firmware update, they added a Wi-Fi hotspot settings. So um, Verizon has Wi-Fi hotspots um, on their network and uh, definitely needed to add it to the iPhone, which they did. Um, the Wi-Fi hotspot settings will probably be available for all carriers in the near future, so look forward to that. So there you go, just a quick look at some of the new features. Um, not too much, but uh, obviously the major thing um, definitely was the gestures on the iPad, the new four and five finger gestures. So let me know, what did you guys think of this update? Not much to it, but uh, definitely kind of cool. Um, what do you think the iPhone 5 and iPad 2 might not have a home button? Um, let me know what you think about that. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below, and I'll see you guys in the next video.